In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use icons to pick a chart type. If we look at the example on the screen now, you'll see that I'm showing a bar chart. If I click the line chart icon, I see a line chart. If I click the map icon, I see a map, and I could go back to the bar chart. So how do we go ahead and build that? So the first thing I've done is I've gone ahead and built the three sheets that we need, the line chart, the bar chart, and the map. What we want to do now is we want to go ahead and create a parameter that allows the user to pick the option for the chart. So I'm going to just call this chart type. And I'm going to make it a string. And I'm just going to hit uh, list. And I'm going to choose bar, line, and map. And let's go ahead and hit OK. I meant to put this bar chart over there. And let's show that parameter. You can see right now it says bar. So what I want to do is I only want to show this particular chart when they pick bar from the parameter. So I need to create a calculated field that just returns chart type selected. And I'm just going to bring in, all it's going to return is the value of my parameter. If I drag that to the filter shelf, it now says bar. Great. If I switch it to line, it now goes blank. Switch it to map and it goes blank. Make it a bar again and it goes back to a bar. So let me switch it to line and I'm going to go over to my line chart and repeat that process. So now the field, the calculated field says line. And if I switch it to map, my line will go blank as well. And now I can bring map in here. Okay, very good. So now we have our nice simple uh, worksheet. Let's go ahead and throw this in a dashboard real quick. I'm going to bring in a vertical container and show my dashboard title. Let me put that inside of the container. And I want to bring in a horizontal container that's going to hold, oh, let me go back two steps. Let me bring in a horizontal container that's going to hold the three charts. So let's bring the bar chart in. Let's bring the line chart, oh, I didn't mean to float. Let's bring the line chart next to it. And let's bring the map next to that. And I'm just going to go ahead and kill my color legend. And we have our parameter here, which is fine. For now, I'm just going to float that, just to get it out of the way. All right, so there we go. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hide the titles for these three charts. And what that does is it forces Tableau will automatically reduce the size of the chart, or of the, of the blank chart. So if I pick a bar, it now switches the bar chart, then line chart, and then map. I think it looks pretty cool when we have animations turned on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's set it to maybe a half a second. So let's see how it looks now. So it brings in our bar chart, brings in our line chart. Maybe I should make it a bit faster. I just like the animations. OK, there we go. OK, great. So now what we need to do, if I go back to the example, is we need to have these three buttons. So you'll notice maybe it's one sheet. So I'm going to create a new sheet. And I'm going to call this uh, select chart type. And that's going to give me that for the title, which is really nice. And I'm going to create three calculated fields. I'm going to call this bar. And it's just going to have the word bar in it. I'm going to create another one called line. And that's just going to have line in it. And these are matching the values that are in my parameter. I'm going to create one more. I'll call it map. And that's just going to pass the string map. Hit OK. And there we go. So now I'm going to create three calculated uh, um, calculations inside of each field. So I'm going to do the average of 0, the average of 0, 0.0, and the average of 0, 0.00. Now I need to add decimals so that Tableau thinks they're all separate fields. And I change the mark type to a shape. OK. And now on this first shelf, I'm going to go ahead and drag bar to the, um, to the shape. On the second shelf, I'm going to put line on the shape. And on the third shelf, I'm going to put map on the shape. OK, so my bar chart, what I've done is I've, I've gone to um, uh, flat icon and downloaded three different icons. Make sure you give credit to those. So you'll see in my, in my version here, I've given credit to where those icons came from. So in my bar chart, OK, let me go here. In my shape, I'm going to go ahead and go down to my, my charts. 
and I'm going to assign that a bar chart. All right, I'm now going to go to my line and assign that a line chart. And then the third one will be a map. So let me just go ahead and again, last time, and pick a map. There we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide, do a bit of cleanup. I'm going to hide the headers. I'm going to format it and get rid of the grid lines. I'm going to get rid of the zero lines. And I'm going to get rid of the row and column dividers. And I'm probably going to need them all bigger, so I'm just going to go to the all marks card and maybe make them a bit bigger, something like that. All right, great. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my dashboard and I'm going to drag in this new sheet up above this one. So just stick it in there somewhere and uh, I can go ahead and kill this uh, container. I don't need that anymore. Oh, one thing I forgot to do on this sheet was to remove my tooltips. I don't care for the tooltips there. So now they don't say anything when I hover over. Okay, so I'm going to make this sheet a bit bigger so we can see the icons in full. Set it to entire view. All right, we're moving somewhere now. Okay, so now what we need to do is, let me go ahead and kill the dashboard title. Uh, what we need to do now is we want to go ahead and set up our parameter actions. So let's go up to dashboard actions. And I'm going to add a change parameter action. And I'm going to say bar chart. And what I want to do is the source sheet is going to be my chart type and the target parameter is chart type, and I'm going to pass to that bar. I'm going to add another action, and I'm going to call this one line chart, and set it up the same way. Chart type and line, and then lastly, one more for the map. Target parameter is chart type, and the field I'm going to pass is map. Okay. So now, if you watch, keep an eye on my um, parameter here. When I click on it, it'll switch to line. When I click on the bar chart, it switches to the bar. When I click on the map, it switches to the map. It's pretty magical. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my parameter because I know it works now. Now, the last thing I want to do is I, I don't like it how this icon uh, gets, uh, uh, gets highlighted. I just wanted to kind of show them all again. So I'm going to go back to my chart type field, and I'm going to create a, a dummy calculated field. I'm just going to call it dummy and put that onto the detail shelf. Now in my dashboard, I need to create another dashboard action. And this one's going to be a filter action. And I'm going to call this update dummy. And my sheet is going to be my, uh, let's see, it's going to be my select chart type. The target sheet is my select chart type. I want to do it on select, show all values, and then in my filters, this is the trick. So I want to set this up. I want dummy to filter segment or any other field. It doesn't really matter. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now you can see when I switch to the bars, these things are no longer highlighted. OK, so that's the tip for this week. Um, you obviously could expand that out to a lot more chart types if you wanted to. The big things there were putting all of the sheets in one container and hiding the titles. So that forces them all to use up the maximum space. And then we created the chart that has the three individual icons on it. And you click on one of those and it, and it changes the view. So hopefully you got a lot out of that. And uh, if, leave some comments if you have any questions and have a good day.